I think maybe it would be good to start with um, our big study, the 35,000 mm -hmm. people study, mm -hmm. where we looked at what people tend to do and tend not to do, yeah. just to kind of anchor this episode, and then we'll go into the <laughs> existence and efficacy and all of that. But if you remember, uh, we tried to reduce the results to make it easier to out of 10 people. Yeah, so that study, it, you know, again, 35,000, that's kind of a big number to conceptualize what does it mean. But if you if you sort of think of it as you have a team of 10 people and you ask them to solve a problem or to think through, think something through, what do they do? What are they going to, what are you going to witness them doing? Mm -hmm. And this study kind of tells us what, generally speaking, people will do. Um, and it turns out what they do, five of them get stuck. Yes, right? they freeze up. Right, they freeze up right away. They don't know where to start mm -hmm. thinking through a problem mm -hmm. um, or anything, an issue, a situation, a problem, whatever. Um, five of them start making identities, but not others, yes. uh, which is the distinction pattern. Yep. And two and a half out of ten mm -hmm. break stuff down into parts. Yes. Two and a half out of ten. So that means you got a team of 10 people. You're paying all of them. <laughs> Two and a half of them are going to break things down into the parts. Right. And zero of them. Zero? Zero yeah. of your 10 paid employees or your 10 team members mm -hmm. are going to think about those things in terms of what they're a part of. Meaning the whole yes, they're not, zero of them are going to go a level up, and two and a half of them are going to go a level down. Yeah, and the other thing we found in that study that was interesting was okay. So we what you just said, we tend to be able to two two and a half out of ten tend to break things into parts. Mm -hmm. But what we also saw is where what we tend not to do is we don't, like you said, we don't go up levels of scale. So mm -hmm. we always talk about plus one and minus one. Yeah. Well, we're good at minus one, sometimes a minus two, like parts and then parts of parts, but we're not good at putting things in that wider plus context. One so that's, or plus two. So that's a weakness. Yeah. It's a bias. Yeah. It's a weakness and a bias. So it's, and, and being, a, the reason I say the bias part is because the bias, being aware of the bias actually transforms the weakness, right? Yes. So when we're aware of a bias, then we can go, oh, you know, I I will tend not to think plus one. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to think plus one. Exactly. So being aware of, of what people tend to do and also what they tend not to do helps us see the bias. And so with systems part whole, systems is the pattern. Mm-hmm. Part whole of the two elements that make up that pattern. And what what the research is showing is that we're okay. We're not great because the only two and a half people do the part yeah. part. We're okay at that. Two yeah. and a half being not so great. No, but it's not. So we need to do more drilling down mm -hmm. and we need to do more thinking mm -hmm. up. Yeah. And ironically, a lot of what we hear from, you know, CEOs and executive teams and people, uh, anytime executives are choosing to tr train up their middle management to try to bring them up into upper management, what they're looking for is they want to see people that have what they call enterprise thinking, yeah. right? They want people to think one or two levels up. Yeah. And they're trying to train people into thinking one or two levels up because we all get pretty good at I give you a task. You you're going to think naturally break it down about, oh, well, how do I break this task down? Yeah. But you're not always going to think about, well, this task that I was just giving given, what does it fit into? What is it for? What is its purpose? How is right. it going to play out above me that we tend not to do? Yeah. Um, and even breaking it down, a lot of people, like like the research shows, seven and a half people are not going to even really know how to no. tend to break it down.